Hello friends. Today we are discussing about analysis of pre-stressed concrete member. Analysis of pre-stressed concrete member by using three concepts. First one is a stress concept, second one is a strength concept and third one is a load balancing concept. Today we are discussing about stress concept. In that first tendon placed centrally. The tendons are placed centrally means CG of the cross section of the beam and the pre-stressing force P applied on the tendons. Due to the pre-stressing force, the compressive stress induced in the concrete and that denoted by FA and the calculated by the pre-stressing stress that is P by A, where A is a cross-sectional area of member. So next, due to the dead load or external applied load, the bending moment at the section is M and the extreme stresses at the section due to bending moment is FB that is bending stresses and is calculated by M by Z. This is a cross section of the beam. This is the stresses due to that pre-stressing force P and this is the stresses due to that bending moment M and that M by Z P by A and this is a final stress diagram. So final stresses on the beam is equal to direct stress plus or minus bending stress. So at the top edge direct stress plus bending stress that is P by A plus M by Z and at the bottom edge direct stress minus bending stress that is P by A minus M by Z. Then next when tendons place the eccentricity means the tendons placed away from that is CG of the beam at a distance of E. So in that direct stress produced due to the pre-stressing force P that is P by A. The next extreme stress is due to that eccentricity of the pre-stressing force that is P into E upon Z and next extreme stress is due to that bending moment that is M by Z. So see here this is a sketch this is a cross sectional area and this is the tendon at a distance of E. So first direct stress that is P by A then next stresses due to that eccentricity that is PE by Z and at the top side it will be minus and at the bottom side it will be plus and this is a third that is due to that external applied load or the self weight of the beam at the top side it will be positive and at the bottom side it will be negative and this is your final stress distribution diagram. So when you calculate final stresses at the extreme top edge the direct stress that is P by A is positive minus PE in upon Z is negative plus M by Z positive. Similarly stress at the extreme bottom edge is P by A positive plus P into E upon Z positive and minus M by Z. So let, let us see one problem on the stress concept. A pre-stressing concrete beam of rectangle section 300 mm by 600 mm has a span of 10 meter. The effective pre-stressing force 980 kN at a constant eccentricity of 120 mm. The dead load of beam is 4.5 kN per meter and the beam has to carry a live load of 7.5 kN per meter. Determine the extreme stresses at the end of the section, second at the mid section without action of the live load and at the mid section with action of the live load. So first of all write down given data. The B is equal to 300 mm, D is equal to 600 mm, span of the beam is equal to 10 meter, then pre-stressing force P is equal to 980 kN, the eccentricity E is equal to 120 mm, dead load is equal to 4.5 kN per meter, live load is equal to 7.5 kN per meter. So let us calculate area of the section A is equal to 300 mm by 600 mm that is 180 into 10 raised to 3 mm square. Then section modulus Z is equal to BD square by 6 that is 18 into 10 to 6 mm cube. So let us first calculate it, bending moment due to dead load. So for simply support beam carries a UDL over entire span the maximum bending moment it will be WL square by 8. Now W consider the intensity of the UDL for dead load that is 4.5 kN per meter. So maximum bending moment is 56.25 kN meter. Similarly, calculate bending moment at mid span due to live load. Now W consider for the live load that is 7.5 U and the maximum bending moment due to live load is 93.75 kN meter. So first analysis of the end of section. At the end section, the only stresses induced only stresses induced is direct stress and stress due to eccentricity. There is no bending stresses produced at the end of the section because 
for a simply support beam the bending moment at the end sub at the support is zero so direct stress due to that pre stressing force is equal to p by a that value will be 5.44 newton per mm square and it will be compression and count considered as a plus sign the next extreme stress is due to eccentricity of pre stressing force that is p into e upon z and that value will be 6.53 newton per mm square this is the sketch this is the cross sectional area this is the stress due to a pre stressing force that is positive comp total compression and this is the stress due to that eccentricity 6.53 minus means at the top side and plus means at the bottom side so final extreme stresses at the top is equal to 5.44 minus 6.53 is equal to minus 1.09 newton per mm square minus sign indicate tension nature of the stress is tension then final extreme stresses at the bottom is equal to 5.44 plus 6.53 is equal to 11.97 newton per mm square and that positive sign indicate nature of the stress is compressive this is your final stress diagram for the first determination then next and then it said the mid section without action of the live load means we want to consider direct stress due to pre stressing force then stresses due to the eccentricity of the tendon and one more we want to know add the bending moment due to that dead load so due to that bend due to that bending moment due to that dead load the extreme stresses is equal to bending moment due to dead load divided by section modulus so bending moment due to dead load is 56.25 into 10 raised to 6 so divided by z that is 18 into 10 raised to 6 the stresses will be 3.125 newton per mm square so final extreme stresses at the top is equal to direct stress that is 5.44 compression consider positive then stress due to that eccentricity e that is 6.53 minus and plus 3.125 that is stress due to that dead load so algebraic sum of all these stresses is plus 2.035 newton per mm square plus sign indicate compression in nature then final extreme stress at the bottom is 5.44 plus direct stress then 6.53 plus due to that eccentricity of tendon and minus 3.125 due to that dead load so algebraic sum all these stresses is 8.845 newton per mm square and positive sign indicate compression in nature so this is your final stresses at the top and at the bottom next we calculate analysis of the mid section with consider of live load now in previous we just consider the dead load in this condition we consider dead load plus live load so this is the cross section this is the stresses due to pre stressing force direct stress this is due to that eccentricity this is due to that dead load and one more term now and due to live load so first of all we calculated extreme stresses due to the live load so how to calculate uh, extreme stresses due to live load is bending moment due to live load divided by section modulus so bending moment due to live load is 93.75 into 10 raised to 6 divided by z is equal to 5.20 newton per mm square same similarly as discussed in second condition same problem same method used to find out the extreme stresses at the top so this is a 5.44 direct stress plus 6.53 due to eccentricity minus plus 3.12 for you due to dead load plus 5.20 due to live load plus the algebraism all of all these stresses it will be 7.23 and positive sign indicate nature of the stress is compressive similarly find out the final extreme stresses at the bottom so 5.44 direct stress 6.53 due to eccentricity 3.12 for you due to dead load 5.20 due to live load the algebraic sum of all these stresses is equal to that is 3.645 newton per mm square and that answer will be positive means indicate the compression in nature this is your final stress distribution diagram for this particular condition and this is a complete solution for the problem for stress concept thank you